Hey, what's up guys? Um, it's another Space Sharks video. Today I'm doing some Japanese tech. And uh, what I have here today is the Docomo SH-06A. Um, I don't know, they don't give it a proper name like phones get today, but hey, it's a phone. Uh, what we have here is a phone. Um, it's still kind of a dumb phone, but with a 10 megapixel camera on the back with Flash, as you can see, and it is a really big, taking a real lot of space in uh, on the phone. Uh, it has a micro SD slot, NFC enabled. You can watch TV on it, but about that later. So first off, it's a flip phone. So you flip it open like this. It has a a 3.2 inch display, as I'm told. So yeah. It's like a 3 inch, 3.2 inch display. It has just your regular dial pad, like you have here. That's not a dial pad, it's just your uh, numeric keypad, sorry. And um, yeah, let's take a look around the phone. So this is the phone, it shows the time on the top. It is the notification LED, it flashes in every color of the rainbow. Um, first off here we got um, on the bottom we got just your regular uh, plug-in for uh, your charger and then we got here for your dock you got like you can charge it here's the uh, micro SD slot and you can put SD cards in, micro SD cards in there obviously we got a dedicated shutter button right here you can take photos and here we got an antenna for watching TV you can even shovel it out if you want so that's the um, and then we got the back which is this logo right here under next to the sticker says it has NFC and here is a whole diagram of how to use that um, camera CCD pixel also gets a wrist strap thingy so now up to the device if you open it uh, as I mentioned, 4.2 inch display. Uh, this is like, um, yeah, it got like, uh, it has full, yeah, just alphabet letters. It's a Japanese phone, but yeah, it still gets that there. Uh, Bluetooth and stuff. Um, let's see, just your normal, what you would expect from a keypad phone. Let's see, camera button also does as a TV button. So if you hold it, you're going to watch TV, but that doesn't work here because we don't have those kind of networks right where I live. So first off, onto the device. It's very annoying to show you this, but anyway. So this is the screen. Um, it looks a bit different on my side because it's a really a silver moon, and I think my white balance is a bit off. But anyway, um, it has normal text either in Japanese or English and English is supported so um, say you were to buy this phone you can do that so this is the uh, you got like a cruiser a touch cruiser that's what it's called and you can actually cruise around with your um, thumb to actually get to everything so basically um, that's what it is and the most cool feature about this phone, which I'm going to show you now, is this is actually a touch screen. Nothing happens. But what what you can do is you can rotate the screen. So if I'm going to show you like this, oh my god, just rotated the screen. So I showed it up to my classmates once. They were like, what the hell are you doing to your phone? And I'm actually rotating it. So now you can fold it up. There you go. And this is actually a different mode for a touch screen. So it's not a good touch screen, but it does the job. Uh, you got like your uh, Google stuff, your internet. Uh, it shows your time right there on every Japanese phone. It shows the current time where you set it and the current time in Japan. So it's already. I think this is 5:36 in. Yeah, I said the time wrong. It's a 24-hour clock. So, um, yeah, so this is a touchscreen. It can do everything from the touchscreen. 
uh, watch TV because the antenna is up top here. This is the way you they want you to watch TV. Um, you can watch TV right there. You can take photos. It has even a widget with a polar bear on it. So say I want to take a picture. To on the right, you can easily take a picture or a video. Uh, here, if you click on the clock, it automatically opens your uh, the calendar. Like well, every uh, thing does it and it adds the buttons that would normally go into your uh, keypad um, so let's take a picture 10 mega 10 megapixel 10 takes um, for a phone it takes a bit long to process it's because it's in a smartphone and it saves to the um, micro SD card automatically you can, you can set that with whole uh, different options autofocus and kind of other stuff so it also has a front facing camera um, I don't know how many megapixel that is but sure isn't a lot like with most phones so um, one feature I want to show you is VEL view so V-E-I-L view and that's in the settings um, it makes sound with every click you make you can turn it off but hey who am I so you're going to display settings and it has vial view and vial view what you can do is display a pa pattern because Japanese people don't like to be yeah being looked on to their phones so what you can do is enable a uh, vial view so I now enabled vial view and as you can see here you can see stuff what I did is I took a little Japanese animation and put that in front of me and I can even set up the strength so if someone would look up to my screen as you can see now you can see something moving you can see that little emoticon moving see so they kind of look it, in, in, um, yeah you just turn in a little bit of brightness and you get this really cool feature if you don't want people sneaking around on your device. So this was my overview of the uh, Entity Docomo's SH06A from Sharp. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. A little clock here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you would like to see more of this phone, I will go deeper into it. But I don't think anyone wants that. But anyway, this was the video. And... Um, Comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time.